Hi, Tony. I know you are the UEP of the Park Dang Sui Park. Yes. Yeah, so can we uh, tell us about what's PDP, what's Park Dang Sui Park? Park Dang Sui Park is a federal crown corporation that is responsible for the redevelopment of the former military base here at Dang Sui. Uh, it is to transform the site into a unique urban recreational green space for the enjoyment of future generations on a self-financing basis. I say you mentioned unique. What what you, what you need is a unit. <laughs> well, a lo number of things will make it unique. First of all, the fact that you're financing a park self on a self-financing basis, that you're actually mm -hmm. not getting money from the government but getting land to oh. affect the, the development of the of the park. Mm -hmm. Unique because it is federal. It is, it, is, it is not a city park. We think that the City of Toronto does an excellent job mm -hmm. with its parks and we don't want to do the same thing. We want to do something different, different something yeah. that appeals to Canadians uh, writ large. So if a Canadian from British Columbia or from mm -hmm. Nova Scotia or from the Yukon are in, in, uh, in Downsview, they can feel uh, directly at home here in, at Downsview because this is their park as, as, as citizens of Canada. As but a, you mean that the land belongs to federal? That's correct. Okay. It's, right. so it's, a, it's owned by the federal government. But that's no money from federal to build a park. Well, but they've given us very, very special land here. Okay. And, uh, and our challenge is to, is to work uh, as best we can uh, with the land base that is here and to create an opportunity on this land to uh, to find the means to achieve the the ultimate ambition of the park, mm -hmm. it's not very different than the way we are in our okay. in our regular lives, actually. Yeah. But you say that uh, it was a military base. That's right. So when was it so? Well, it was a military base uh, up until uh, I guess 1996 when they officially closed the base. Mm -hmm. But the minute the government of Canada made the decision back in 1994 mm -hmm. in the federal budget to to, to close the base and to transform the place into okay. a, a unique urban recreational yeah. green space. So how big is the land? The total land that's coming to us is about 580 acres. Okay. It is, uh, it is uh, a mix. The majority of it is going to be park-like. That is to say, a retransfer, transformation of the pastoral lands, the, mm -hmm. the uh, landscape features. It will be a, a recreationally based uh, part of the land that will have both an indoor and outdoor component to it, mm -hmm. and then cultural. So, park in an urban sense, a park involves culture, recreation, active recreation, and then just sort of general features of pastoral features that uh, that will surround the park. And that will be about 300 acres that sort of are the energy force or the driving forces for the park itself. Okay, but you say that a quick challenge because you got the land free from the federal, but you got no money. So, where's the money? You well, you the need land the money to, to build. A a unique project, right? And we are supposed to self-finance. So, okay. with the three hundred, with the five hundred eighty-six acres mm -hmm. uh, or so that are coming to us, and the three hundred acres that are primarily parkland, the two hundred eighty or so acres that remain okay. are actually going to be the means to fund the park and the development of the park. Mm -hmm. We're very much focused on the park. The park is the driving force. Yeah. So that, from our perspective, while you distinguish between the park proper and the Downsview Park generally, the corporation's land base, mm -hmm. you don't really distinguish it from the standpoint of how you feel as part of the community. Okay. We're expecting our tenants to be part of the Downsview Park experience, to feel mm -hmm. a part of it. One of the, the, our mottos is that uh, our tenants are more than tenants and we are more than a landlord to them. Okay. And we expect them to be part of the community that we're trying to create and to share our values of sustainability and community mm -hmm. development. We hope that the park itself will be a place where all Canadians can come and participate and, mm -hmm. and celebrate, and we think that will add value. So the money side of sustainability is coming from certain lands that's oriented towards that. Other elements of the land are focused more on environmental mm -hmm. and uh, social sustainability, but the reality is it's all a constant. It's sustainability in general, and we want to con connect all of those visions and that values to create a, a place that is not distinguishable mm -hmm. from one to the other, even if there is financial uh, desires in certain parts of the land and park desires on the other parts of the land, that together mm -hmm. it forms a, a wonderful place called Downsview Park. I see. Because normally we see a park, say, we got the, like the Greenland, we got the arena, we see that that's like sports or cultural, uh, those kind of purpose. But you say, you mentioned that one thing, you have tenants. So that, means, right. that means you are taking like commercial 
tenants to like to, to finance the project or getting the revenue. Well, that's right. Well, that, that goes yeah. back to the principle of being self-financing. Mm -hmm. We are uh, we are in fact looking for tenants, and we're looking for tenants, not just any tenants, but tenants that we feel mm -hmm. are consistent with our values. That will be easier to do mm -hmm. once the transfer of the land is complete between ourselves and the Department of National Defense. Nice. Until then, we are essentially working for the Department of National Defense and mm -hmm. managing the property in anticipation of the transfer. But they have set certain conditions on our ability to move things forward, and so we are being very patient and waiting for the transfer of the land. And are hoping to, to see that happen in, in the short term. I see. So we mentioned that the military base closed in 1996 and now it's 2005. It's almost 10 years. So what kind of development has been done for the, those 10 years? Well, uh, when you don't own the land that you're supposed to be uh, creating, it makes it challenging. But we have done a it's great very deal. Challenging. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, but we have done a fair bit to promote the sense of park, even though we physically haven't been able to do much to transform mm -hmm. the site. We have a wonderful design that was developed by Bruce Mao and his associates, and it, it's uh, it, again, it's, it distinguishes this park from other parks. Mm -hmm. The park itself has recreational components. It has cultural amenities that are being okay. planned to it, the Toronto Aerospace Museum. Mm -hmm. We have the indoor soccer facility and beach volleyball facility known as the Hangar, yeah. where about 300,000 people from across the Greater Toronto Area participate, particularly in the winter months, and now we're expanding the uses. Mm -hmm. We have our four seasonal special events, our Canada Day celebration, okay. which is our big event in the, in the city, mm -hmm. uh, probably the largest one in the Greater Toronto Area. And that, those are all examples of how we've made the site look like a park and sound like a park mm -hmm. and act like a park, even if we haven't been able to physically change the site yeah. as, as quickly as we would have wanted. One of the things that we hosted here as part of our Canada Day 2000 celebrations is the largest citizenship court in Canadian history. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we, we, we try to celebrate is, is to celebrate Canada's mosaic brilliance, mm -hmm. and to celebrate the people that make Canada special. And, and the, the, the future of Canada and, and, our, and the various communities that have come here to, mm -hmm. to share this land with us and to, and to celebrate the future and its possibilities. So we want to continue to foster that kind of vision and those values and reflect them in the programs that we do. Mm -hmm. And even though we don't have the land, yeah. we can only do so much, but we can act like we, we feel uh, going forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, I know that it does used to be like some big events have been organized in the, in the parks before. Can right. you talk about that? Or? Well, you know, we've had uh, interesting events today. I guess uh, we see the transition from uh, Pope John Paul II to mm -hmm. Benedict the Sixteenth, and uh, we had the late Pope uh, here at Danzig. It was his last Canadian appearance back in 2002. So we yep. were we hosted uh, 800,000 people from across the world, mm -hmm. really, uh, yep. to come here and to uh, and to join and join celebrate the, this the land and join the Pope here. And mm -hmm. we have a commemorative garden as part of that experience, mm -hmm. as part of the that uh, World Youth Day legacy. Of course, the next year, we had uh, the Rolling Stones uh, concert and mm -hmm. the SARS Benefit concert that uh, yeah. took place here uh, for Molson Canadian. And mm -hmm. it was, again, another opportunity to show the capacity of this particular property. Mm -hmm. Of course, working with our colleagues in Bombardier was what made it possible. But the fact is that we were able to show that this land was special and unique and, and again, highlights the, the important uh, contributions that Downs U Park has made uh, to uh, the world stage, really, yeah. uh, in such a short period of time, actually in a pre-development stage, in mm -hmm. fact. Yeah, I know that. I mean, the, the World Youth Day by, like, by John Pop, uh, I tried to come there, but there's far no traffic, too many people right there. So, but those, those are in the past. Any big events planning ahead for... Well, coming? we've been working on a couple of things right now. Again, mm -hmm. looking at the site from the perspective of its capacity, where we have been uh, working on a couple of events, and uh, maybe there might be something that we'll be able to talk about soon, but nothing is 100% yet. But we're always thinking to the future, looking to possibilities of celebrating this land, making people aware of it. And in spite of the many people that already use Downsview Park, there are still so many people that need to learn more. Mm -hmm. And we are out there trying to do more events, again, given the challenges we have now, but trying to do more to, to stimulate an interest, to stimulate an understanding of what we're doing, and to achieve the positive results of our mandate through that, through those activities. I see. But you mentioned that I mean the whole de the whole site designs by like Bruce Mao design. So is that finished all the design right now, or still in the like uh, 
which stage is the implementation? The, the, majority, the majority of the design uh, in a schematic sense is done for about 200 or so of the acres that we have. Okay. We are waiting now the opportunity to actually implement. In fact, uh, we have started through a, through a different project and thanks to D&D's permission we're allowed to start mm -hmm. to, to plant about 12 uh, acres, at f six hectares of land as part of our Canada forest, as part of the design of the park. So okay. we're very uh, so excited. Step by step, that, right? Yeah, very, very, mu very much in an evolutionary sense. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, one of the things that uh, that Downsview Park represents in terms of its challenges is the opportunity, the opportunity mm -hmm. to intersect your standard of living with your quality of life, and to try to show yeah. how those two things can connect. We can only go as fast as our ability to pay mm -hmm. allows us to do. I know. On the one hand, on the other hand. It's, it creates a great opportunity to test really the sustainability concepts and opportunities so that it grows it grows with the community. Mm -hmm. You and I will always think of Downsview Park yeah. as a, a base turned into the park, but our children and our grandchildren will always look at Downsview Park as a special place. My daughter, for one, loves coming here and already mm -hmm. sees it as a park and celebrates it as a park. It's all in the attitude that you bring to something, and we're, we're, we're happy with the way in which we've been able to position this and we're even more excited about the potential for Downsview Park into the future. Okay, so right now what kind of like major components of the park right now? You mentioned the like the Toronto Aerospace Museum, the hangar, and what else? Yeah, our four seasonal special events are key, uh, a key part of that process. We have the uh, uh, a group that is known as the Downsview Park Arts Alliance mm -hmm. and it is uh, home uh, here and we work with them on celebrating various events and activities. Okay. The Toronto Wildlife Center is here as well mm -hmm. and they uh, in fact uh, help uh, rehabilitate wildlife from across the GTA and they're mm -hmm. a very important part of the, the experience here at Downsview. So mm -hmm. we've got a number of key tenants. There are some other tenants that are coming on stream in the next little while okay. that we're looking to work with. The Downsview Park Merchants Market mm -hmm. which is again an interesting kind of use of an old building and we're at the last stages of trying to finalize some details on that and we're hoping that that will be able to uh, be settled in the next uh, few weeks or so to I allow see. it to move forward. So it's about six, it's a 600 plus merchants like farmers market, is that right? Or? Yes, it has a number of components to it. Some of it's yeah. a comp uh, merchants market and some of it is uh, a farmers market and those kind of things. And again, it, it, what, what, it, what all these events, what all these uses do is they bring people to the site mm -hmm. and they, they enjoy and they be able to yeah. experience. I mean, we have a great example of, of a commitment from our tenants uh, in the form of the Toronto Community Housing Corporation. I mentioned before that we're planting six acres, six hectares of land, about 12 acres of land here as, as part of our Earth Week uh, commitments. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have had a substantial contribution from one of our tenants, the Toronto Community Housing Corporation, to contribute to the development of Downsview Park because they're deeply committed to it. Mm -hmm. We also have the Toronto Region Conservation Authority the okay. Crown Region Conservation Authority is, is, is mandated to create sustainable community development. We and uh, them share the same kind of passion, same the same kind of commitments. They want to be here because we, they believe in the same things we believe in and, 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 and we want to share those values and create a, an opportunity for that kind of growth and development. So we're very excited about those type of things. So we're very proud of our tenants and we want to work with them and celebrate them yeah. and find ways in which they can help us grow Downsview Park better. And I already mentioned TRCA, in fact, the Toronto Region Conservation Authority mm -hmm. has been a partner with us on Earth Day for many, many years along okay. with Earth Day Canada. And they've contributed to the success and planting of numerous trees here on the site. So mm -hmm. all of that live, work, play and learn at Downsview Park is key to our to our success. Yeah. But there was a story in Toronto South before, say, a councillor is complaining about that you have the big free market, merchant market in this area. They will cause, cause like traffic problem or road congestion problem, is that we solved it right now or? We're working on some of those things. I mean the councillor has some very legitimate concerns and mm -hmm. we're, listening, we're listening to her concerns. Uh, uh, we're federal property and we're working uh, within, within the, the, the mandate that we have. But we want to work cooperatively with the city. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're, we've been expecting uh, to receive some feedback from a proposal with the city as to how we will build Downsview Park together. Okay. We believe in, 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 in joining power together. We yeah. believe in bringing people, yeah. bringing people together. Yeah. You know, uh, rather than have uh, the federal rules or the mm -hmm. municipal rules, let's bring together and create the proper rules for us as government agencies to work in a collaborative way because ultimately we serve the same interest. Okay. We serve the people that uh, of this community and we serve the broader community as well. So we have, uh, you know, we are 
being cautious about moving things forward. Yep. There were some uh, goals uh, to, to, to open that market much mm -hmm. sooner. We have uh, cautioned the tenant uh, to, to work in a cooperative way yep. and we're looking forward to resolving some of those details and, and, and working in a very positive mm -hmm. and responsible way yep. with the city going forward and hopefully hopefully we'll be able to resolve. This is just an example of things okay. that if we had the rules mm -hmm. in place we would be able to work in a positive, much more positive way. So we're working with her mm -hmm. and working with the community generally to resolve those things. And, you know, we I will see. experiment with parking. We will see what happens. Mm -hmm. And it is largely a weekend uh, opportunity. And we'll see if it works. If it works, yeah. we'll make it make sure it uh, it continues to improve. And if it doesn't, we'll find ways to improve it. We're, we're optimistic that with the right attitude, mm -hmm. things can be resolved. I see. But you have the experience like hosting World Youth Day for 800,000 people, right. the Rolling Stone concept. I mean, that's even bigger crowd than the, the, the free market. Yes, yes, it's a different kind of dynamic. Obviously, when you're dealing with something that's sustained over time, mm -hmm. those are one-off one events or yeah. week-long activities that, that need to be connected. But, of course, uh, uh, a market like this and a, and a tenancy that is sustained, we need to work through those things. And the best, my, my, uh, my, oh, my philosophy on these things, the best thing to do is to, to experience them. And so we will work positively. And again, ultimately, if you have the right attitude, That's all it. these things can be resolved. Yeah, because we all will mix things well, not yeah, like Exactly, it. exactly. So, yeah. you know, we, we listen to the council, we've taken her advice, and mm -hmm. we're looking at ways in which to ensure that mm -hmm. the interests of the community are properly served. And we think this will add value to the community, certainly adds value to our obligations to the Department of National Defense. Mm -hmm. And we're looking forward to finding ways to, again, as we, as we get ready to, to start, to find other ways to improve and, and to respect those kind of concerns uh, going forward. But you know that uh, Toronto is a multicultural city, so does the PDP does anything on multicultural aspects? Well, you know, one of our uh, our events, in fact, our upcoming uh, Spring Fest celebration, mm -hmm. is is largely based on cultural communities and bringing acts from across the city and having various groups. I was mentioning the Downsview Park Arts Alliance is one of our tenants. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's a series of organizations of cultural groups from across the city um, to come here and to actually, uh, you know, express them their their cultural identities through this. Uh, this arts alliance. So we have a variety of experiences. I mentioned this earlier, the, the citizenship court. I mean, yeah. we have the largest one in Canada ever. 2,103 people were sworn in as Canadian citizens. So mm -hmm. we really do our best to strive to celebrate Canada's mosaic brilliance in, in all aspects and all respects. Yeah. Uh, so PDB, is, you say, that is, a, is it a unit model? Is it the first time that like the federal government gave the land to, a, to you, I mean, your board of directors, to run by itself? Or? It well, it, it, it is it is unique. It is certainly I, I've not known of a, of a, of a model other? like this <laughs> anywhere. Um, and uh, you know, right now the the, the the challenge is to find a way, mm -hmm. in fact, to to get started and to get started in a much more meaningful way. We have started. I we have good support from our board of directors, excellent mm -hmm. chairman by David Bell, and a fantastic board of directors as well. Uh, okay. We have uh, a good good good. Minister mm -hmm. as well, who's working very hard for us, Honorable John Godfrey, yeah. and other ministers, the Honorable Ken Dryden, who's our minister again, very supportive, and Minister Godfrey, very supportive, Minister Volpe, mm -hmm. uh, supportive as well. So we continue to find uh, uh, a capacity here with uh, the right attitudes, mm -hmm. again, with our colleagues uh, in government and uh, on the board of directors, and a great management team uh, that uh, supports uh, our activities here. And, really believes in downs you and that and that's so important that you believe in what you're doing and it creates a passion mm -hmm. for what you're trying to accomplish so we're very excited and we're just anxious so anxious to get started and really start to to, to do some real meaningful change to the physical landscape of downs you mm -hmm. while we've already done our best to transform the attitudes around downs I see but since now Virgil, um, the government they, have, they do have like large surplus is there any chances for like PDB get some money from federal and then make the plan Move faster? Well, you know, that's up to them, really. I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, from our perspective, I have my marching orders. I know what I need to do, and mm -hmm. I know how I have to do them. So I'm, I'm confident that we can accomplish the goals within the constraints. But look, if, if they, if, if they, if, if they, they give you some money, if they, they if they do, then I certainly wouldn't say no. Let's put it that way. But mm -hmm. at the same time, our plan is not, is not, it's not necessary. Yeah. What we need is the land right now. Mm -hmm. The rest of the plan is in good shape. Yeah. and we'll accomplish it and uh, we're very confident in that again great team great board and uh, we're very confident that we're going to be able to move things forward I see. so how long have you been working in pdp 
I have been here since 1999. I guess okay. the corporation itself was established in early 1999. I started in late 99. Mm -hmm. And I started off as manager of community affairs and director of special events. It's okay. so important from my perspective, mm -hmm. particularly uh, at this stage in the process where you're trying to find believers, you're trying to yeah. find people that, can, that, that can, can understand and appreciate that we work within the community and find people to enjoy mm -hmm. and to celebrate the land. I was mentioning my... my uh, my daughter earlier, and you yeah. know, she you know, loves the, the idea of Downsview and sort of using the land and celebrating it. And children are always going to see this as a park. Mm -hmm. My mother, who lives down the street, I grew up in the neighborhood back uh, in my adolescence, and uh, it was a, a great place, mm -hmm. and still is a great place. And I look so much forward to, to continuing to contribute to that from the inside of the barbed wire fences. Because back in my days, when I was a mm -hmm. young, young person, uh, Downsview Park was surrounded by barbed wire fence. Now, yeah. now we've torn it down, but in many ways, people have not necessarily seen the barbed wire. To your point, I mean, we're we're still trying to uh, have more people come and use and celebrate the property. So mm -hmm. we're very much again uh, uh, motivated by by things, and you know, you know, my my wife has gotten to become a believer in Downsview. We're all trying to believe in what we're doing, and very excited about the. Mm -hmm. the possibilities here and we're looking forward to uh, to really starting to make some physical change apparent to everybody in the community. But do you think this kind of, this model will really works? I think so. Yeah. I think so. I mean, what it requires is a certain amount of patience. Mm -hmm. What it requires is a certain amount of a capacity to understand that that just like we do in our everyday life, you could you want to graduate university tomorrow, but you got to take your courses. You, know? like you have to yeah. you have to you have to go through the the, mm -hmm. the rigors right. of learning mm -hmm. in order to actually really learn. In other words, you you have to go through the process of identifying and growing, and it, it, sometimes growth can be a painful process. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. you know, as I said, it, it'd be nice to just instantaneously give us. Uh, everything and say just go build a park but mm -hmm. it becomes more meaningful and much more substantial if you've actually earned it earned the opportunity and and at the end you can look at with pride at, at the things that you've accomplished mm -hmm. and recognize that in fact there is something wonderful here that, that we've been able to, to by sacrifice have uh, been able to establish and, and grow so we feel very good about about that and and I think it's going to be uh, something that uh, Future generations will be very proud of uh, how we've set the foundations for the future. Yeah. So when I drive into the park, I see like many lands still barren. You know, I mean, uh, do you think how long it would take to get the park to be like completely finished? Well, once we get once we once we get started, mm -hmm. um, it's already started right now or not just started? Well, uh, I guess in a way we you know it all depends on where you start to count the count okay. the mm -hmm. count the uh, the process. We have in a way started by creating uh, the events and the programming and the opportunities for people to come attracted here. Yeah. The way in which yeah. we haven't really started, although we have in modest ways, mm -hmm. started to physically transform the site through some early plantings and development. Okay. This year, uh, we're going to accelerate some of that planting and it's not just going to be planting in general, it's going to be planting specific to the design that Bruce Mao has developed. So it's a, it's a direct planting. And working with Natural Resources Canada okay. and the Canadian Forestry Service, we found this great opportunity, a great partner within the federal government mm -hmm. to help us uh, plant uh, 12 uh, acres of land uh, on the site. And we're looking at doing that in the next little while as part of what we're calling the Canada Forest Initiative. So mm -hmm. again, it will be it'll be slow and incremental, yeah. but you know, Great parks around the world have taken uh, and, hundreds of any years. Any time for completion of the project? Seven years is in, terms of, in terms of the physical mm -hmm. first round of changes. But in a way, a park is never finished, right? You keep continuing keep going, to yeah. grow and mm -hmm. mature and evolve. And so mm -hmm. in terms of the first first real big build, mm -hmm. seven years. Okay. So from now to for seven years? That's, uh, that's our goal. If we get to move some things forward a little faster this fall, mm -hmm. then yes, seven years from now. Okay, so I'd say after seven years, what we will see in the park? More buildings? You will see, you will see uh, wonderful gardens in the southern end of the site. Okay. You will see demonstration gardens and cooperation and with, uh, with many partners in terms of developing those gardens. You'll see a wonderful meadow in the, ce in the, in the center area mm -hmm. that includes the completion of the Canada Forest. You'll see a great lake okay. at, at the edge of the site on Keel Street. You'll see a variety of, 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 of landscape features in the action area. Mm -hmm. You'll see a great opportunity for uh, uh, sporting events and activities in the, 
in the uh, recreational, the action sports complex area of the site. You'll see museums and other activities that will have started by that. Mm -hmm. So all of this will physically transform and will attract people to the site. Yes, you'll see sustainable buildings, green buildings, using green technology and using positive energy that connects with, uh, mm -hmm. with Downsview. You'll see because we will obviously need to raise some more funds in order to achieve those, those goals and, and directions. You'll see residential communities that will start to develop on the site. Mm -hmm. You'll see a wonderful mix of a great community and uh, we're, again, we're looking forward to being able to move that forward. Yeah. Okay, I'm interested to see that day. So am I. Thank you. Thanks for it's a pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah. Thank you Thank very you. much. All right.